at 90 degrees uh, with the hand or the palm if you like like this because it's actually easier to do uh, that way um, because if you look at your own thumb uh, and just relax it, it actually sticks out to the side and the nail is actually sort of facing back towards you or sort of inwards towards your body depending sort of how you're sitting or how your hand is so we'll be getting to that a bit later on as well so for now what we're going to do is just going to build the thumb straight down and first of all just going to need to shape this up a bit as well because uh, our thumbs aren't exactly that shape okay so just moving these points around like so let's just move those back up there a little bit more okay so it's not too bad we can uh, come back to that and do a little bit more uh, in a while okay so what we're going to do we're going to grab these faces and what we can do, we can use the uh, scale tool and just by on the Y axis, just going to scale that together like that. So it's just going to enable us to have a nice flat edge to extrude down into the next section of our thumb. So I'm just going to move it down just a little bit more. So we've got that part that comes off the palm there onto the base of the thumb, or your thumb palm. Okay, and we can do another extrude straight down. Okay, so like so. And again, try and shape as you go as well, like so. And we're going to do another extrude, like so as well. And again, I'm just going to shape this all up, and then I'm going to do one more extrude. And this one's going to be the end of our thumb, like so. So you should have sort of four extrudes, as we did with the uh, forefinger. And then all we're going to do is going to grab these guys here, going to move these down to about there. And we're just going to edit the points just to get a bit more shape on that thumb. And just going to move these up a bit as well. Oops. And again, for reference, you can always use your own hand, uh, which is a really good idea because it's right there in front of you and you can see how your fingers are sitting and how your thumbs are sitting and where your joints are. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, there's always uh, the internet where you can download some reference uh, from Google or something like that. Just type in hands and you've got all different types of things come up. Okay, so I'm just editing the, uh, the mesh now on these uh, inner parts just just around here just to sort of round out the uh, forms a little bit as well because um, we don't want it to uh, we don't want too square hands okay so I think the thumb could be a little bit wider just here there we go so let's just have a look at that, see how we're getting on. Uh, I'm just going to go back to uh, object mode and delete some history, so we've got a bit of history build up there on the right. And I think we could actually just going to move these guys down just a little bit more. That looks a bit better. So have a look at your own thumb if you like. I'm doing that exactly as I speak. So that's not too bad. There we go. Okay, so now what we're, we're ready to do now is to uh, begin to add uh, some detail now uh, to the hand. Um, we're not going to build the other fingers because uh, we're going to use this finger here and we're going to just duplicate that along and join that up later. So just going to quickly round out a few more forms here. 
Okay, like so. Okay, so what I think we can do is we're going to start to add in a bit more detail. So I'm going to pop in a split there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay, we're going to do that for there for now. And I'm just going to round out a little bit more. And I'm just going to use the edges here. And I'm just going to grab these, just so we can start to define the sort of knuckle areas and the creases uh, towards the bottom of the hands as well. I'm just going to pop that up just a little bit there. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. And we'll just move those inwards there. Okay, so you can see where we're going with that. And what we'll do as well, we're just going to round out the sort of knuckly kind of areas too. Not too much. So I'm just going to use the scale tool just to bring those out ever so slightly, like so. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And we'll do the same with the thumb. Okay, I'm just going to move those back a little bit. I'm not too happy with those being like that. So, again, this is going to be the crease area. So we want another split through there and one in there. So again, I'm just looking at my own thumb, uh, just making sure the uh, positioning is okay. Okay, so that's not too bad there. Yeah, I think that nail is still a little bit too small there. So let's just bring that out a little bit more. And we'll push the top part back just in there, sort of cuticle area. And we'll just grab that knuckle and we'll just scale that out just a tiny bit to about there. And I think what we'll do is just bring these points down just a tiny bit more. Okay, so you can see the shape of it is uh, starting to come together already. Okay, so what we want to do now is we're going to add a bit more geometry so we can start rounding out the form of the uh, fingers and the thumb again uh, because we want to, you know, we don't want it flat like this. It's uh, just going to look too blocky. Um, so what we will do, we're going to grab our split poly tool. Uh, which I, again I've got another shortcut on my shelf there and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start here in this area and just work all the way down through here through here Leave that one there for now. Whoops. Miss one out. Start that again. <laughs> 